sabes lo que pasa. El primer verso, papi. Yeah. Lo que manda aquí la clave. Este ritmo guaguanco. Esto es lo que existe. Hey, so we came back from the beaches and then we chilled a bit at the place. Now we're headed to Naguabo. Naguabo. Anyway, we're headed to go and find some seafood, some fresh ones to cook and also to eat there. So we will see you when we're there. We just got shrimp from El Coral and it's gorgeous. It's literally right in front of the water. Hello from I think day four. Um, I didn't film too much this morning because uh, I had a few calls and a few things to take care of. But now that that's all over, we're gonna head I think to the pool and take it really chill. We're going to Club Kaala pool. Our papaya is almost ready and juicy. So I'm excited to eat this papaya. We also had good bananas. Hmm? I said we had papayas and good bananas. Yeah, we need more bananas. I'm setting you up, babe. Papaya, banana, banana, banana. <laughs> That's Ty's favorite Davido song. <laughs> banana, fall on you. <laughs> stuck in your head, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. Yes. Man. My setup, this is Ty's setup. I'm, just, I'm, hey, toast, I'm toasting out here. Man. The sun is out, and literally the entire pool is empty. I think there's like three couples here. And I love that you're having this discussion because I feel like I look key influence a lot of your music decisions right now. And I'm really proud of that, but I think I'm gonna go in the water now because I am, like you guys can yes. see the sweat. Toasty, man. I'm gonna go in the pool and the battery's dying, so I'll catch you before I text Max tonight. Yeah, I'll catch you at text Max tonight. In the pool we go. Guys, um, Ty and I wanted to take a romantic walk on the beach, and then, of course, this is where he ended up. Where is he? Where is my husband? Oh, there he is. So I haven't talked to you guys since yesterday, but today we are going to Farhado and we're gonna do a bit of exploring there, look at some beaches, do a bit of hikes, and yeah, when it came to last night, we just had a walk on the beach and then we went to go grab food, and we came back home and had an early night because today we were supposed to go on an excursion, but we pushed it back and rescheduled it. But we're still gonna do some adventurous things and uh, hopefully I can film a lot for the vlog. Okay, so we made it to the beach. Which beach is this? I think it's Seven Seas Beach in Fajardo. Seven Seas Beach um, in Fajardo, like I said. And now we're gonna start the hike. He likes to hike, find places, hike, and hike, and hike, and hike. You always doubt it, and then later, <laughs> This is nice though, the beach. It's a really nice beach. I think we're trying to get to there. Okay, so we made it to the first stop. Um, if you're afraid of like lizards and everything, by the way, there's lizards on the on the hike. They're like everywhere. So yeah, to be honest, there there were like hundreds, hundreds of them. Yeah, I. Not gonna lie, I was really like scared, but the view is absolutely worth it. There's only one other person here, he's a local fishing. Yeah, and he <laughs> he heard me cry. He was like, Don't cry, it's God's creation, you know, like they're not scary. And I'm like, <laughs> I was scared. So speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> We got to the second beach, which is called, is it Red Beach? Playa Escondida. Oh, Playa Escondida, which is very, very, like, long. Like, all the way there, 
to all the way around there. There's only us and the vibes. It's not easy to get to. Yeah, like the second leg of the hike, there was lizards a bit less. But there was crab. Is it crab? There were so many crabs. Crabs everywhere. Oh it was scary. I'm not looking forward to returning. So I think I'm going to enjoy the most um, time here at the beach and in the water. Tyler put his sunscreen on. We didn't have the super goop with us. Uh, but you got to do what you got to do. Huh? It's still white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my um, tripod has been kind of weird lately, so I don't want to take any um, any chances. One last look. We just parked at Casa Mia. It's a local restaurant on the beachfront and we're gonna have lunch. This is our first time eating local Puerto Rican food because we've been just cooking at the place. The view is absolutely insane. I ordered fish tacos and I ordered um, mofongo, the crab, crab one? Crab mofongo, yeah. Crab mofongo. I had to get the last one. Yeah. <laughs> like how peaceful. The whole, the whole town is just like, it's just chill. So I got the fish tacos. So I got the mofongo. Wait. You might be asking yourself, what is mofongo? Well, there was a day I asked myself that same question. I still know what it is. But I think it's like plantains. It's mashed sweet plantains. Yeah, mashed sweet plantains with spices and stuff. And then it's got a bunch of crab on top. And hot sauce. And hot sauce. And mofongo for the first time. Reaction? So good, yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10? I don't know, it's so good. Try. Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get my own fork. The fish, like you could tell that the fish was like fresh. It wasn't frozen shrimp, uh, not shrimp. It wasn't frozen fish that was battered and then deep fried. It was like still juicy and flaky. Uh, the surface is really good. The people are really nice and it's just, the vibe is immaculate. Now we're gonna leave Fajardo for less than a few <laughs> Uh, hours? hours? Yeah, for 12 hours. We have an early night because tomorrow we're going to Culebra and our ferry is at 6 a.m. We have to be there an hour before, which means 5 a.m. So we need to wake up at 4. Our coffees because got up at 4, left Palmas at like 4.20, 4.15, 4.20, which is why I look like this. And we drove 40 minutes to get to, um, what is it, Seba? 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 To get the ferry. So there's a 9 a.m. ferry, which would obviously be a lot more ideal, but I think it might, might have been sold out, or maybe it wasn't running today. Yeah. Today was the only day that we could go. All right, your first sip of coffee after the long morning. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. 
really hot. Mm. We're going to grab a golf cart. Jerry's was the one. Jerry's was Jerry's the one. Jerry's was the one. You've never been on a golf cart? No, well, like not like this. Are you serious? Mm -mm. <laughs> Made it after a, be, a few a few bumpy roads. We finally made it. The main entrance is under construction, so we had to like um, go through this like back way alley, and we just parked on the side. Uh, we saw another rental car, so we should be good. We were at three quarters. Look at the beach! Where should we go to salt? Oh my god! Not bad. <laughs> it was intense. Like, it doesn't seem intense, but once you pass the like sand area, the waves are coming in and... Whoosh. This is Flamingo Beach. It was rated one of the top beaches in the world. And because of the current circumstances, and I guess it's complicated to get here, we have an entire beach to ourselves. Oh, it's so nice! So we're probably gonna stay... Ty, what do you think? We're probably gonna stay here until we're like ready for lunch, and then grab the golf cart, uh, find a spot to eat, and then check out um, Sony Beach. Well, we're done for Flamenco Beach. There is our humble abode. Is that what people say, humble abode? Not for a vehicle, typically. Oh. <laughs> oh. Next stop, Zaco Taco. to get here on a golf cart. Every car here is a Jeep, and I understand Jerry, why. Jerry said we could, but. Yeah. But. That was hard, like that was actually really stressful. Let me see how much gas we Yum. Another trip. Another one. Where to next? Probably Canada. <laughs> Probably. Here we go. It's really uphill, so we're kind of stressed out for the way back. But here. People sounded like it was okay. Yeah. So we have to go up this hill in this golf cart. You ready, Bubby? Ready. Back to the city. Good morning. So today is our last full day in Palmas and we booked an adventure, an Airbnb experience. We're going to the rainforest. Eyes, don't let it fall on me.
absolutely crazy uh, in a good way. I really didn't think that it was going to be this intense. We all had to walk under the waterfall. And that's fine if you're tall because you can maybe like hold, like you can stand. But because I was short and I was high key freaking out, um, yeah, I didn't go. It wasn't too smooth, you know? It just wasn't too smooth. At one point, I didn't see anything. And then Ty was the last person I saw. And I was like, Ty, don't leave me. Don't leave me. And then I thought Ty became like, started swimming. But Alejandro, our host, <laughs> swooped in and grabbed me and threw me out of the water onto the rock. He was like a Navy SEAL or something. I swear. No, I don't think he was a Navy SEAL, but he, he worked in the uh, rescue in the Army. Yeah, I think in the Army. See, he knew what he was doing. So honestly, I'm going to leave his Airbnb experience uh, below because if I could do it, you guys can do it. What's up, vlog? Good morning. So today is our last day in Palmas. This morning we're checking out. So it is currently 9 a.m. and we're gonna do a papaya smoothie and then pack everything in the car and check out. We're just gonna head back to San Juan and do all the touristy stuff that we didn't really have the time to do uh, when we first landed. So we're gonna check out uh, old San Juan. We're gonna look at the fort governor's house all that good stuff and of course i will vlog uh, as much as i can so yeah bring you along for our day of exploring in saint juan so let's go thank you ty <laughs> catch you guys later drinking our smoothies out of solo cups because well we don't want to do any more dishes and the smoothie turned out so good so we're almost in it's in Ila Verde right we found the spot that we're gonna go have um, a food at and we're just gonna explore the Ila Verde area before we have to drop off our vehicle at the rental place, so. That's nice. It's gorgeous. Review. Mm. It's good? Really good. Yeah, let me film you. Okay, yeah, okay. Like <laughs> I'm so excited for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is it. This is so good. With some guava barbecue wings on the way. Yes, and this is a dried pineapple. So just finished eating. Um I had the guava barbecue wings. Oh, so good, so, so good. Ty tried them, you like them too? Yeah, and then Ty had two small um, tacos. He didn't want to eat too much because we're gonna head to Old San Juan and maybe he wants to try some food there. But I really enjoyed my meal and this passion fruit drink. And the music is, I feel like it's, it's my playlist. There was Miguel, there was Janae, there was everyone. That Mac, Kendrick, Mac, Rocky. Kendrick, Asa, Drake. Drake. I think they play passion fruit, right? Drake? Yeah, and then we're drinking passion fruit. in to um, the Best Western Condado and we got a nicer room this time because we're on the ninth floor and we're facing the better side. This is our view. We have some of the city 
But then we can see the beach, which is gonna be a tease like Ty was saying because tomorrow we can't go to the beach. Everything is on lockdown. We basically can't leave the Best Western facilities. Yeah. And we could only book two hours at the pool. So, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hola. Hola. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete. It's called the Mama of Gelato. I know why. <laughs> Es mi mano, creo que toca mi mano se daña Pero amor es lo que dicen, como un color entre los grises Yo nunca te fallé, tú no eres cualquiera Tú eres la mujer, mi corazón anhela Son por ahí todos de todas esas poses que tú conoces Gracias a mi mujer ni tu amigo, pero en vivo solo contigo so we made it to Old St. Juan for date night and we're gonna go to Barachina which is where they apparently invented the pina colada. back at it again with the um, iPhone vlogging so today's Sunday uh, I think I mentioned it yesterday but if I didn't uh, there's a new regulation where Sundays is full lockdown can't be out unless you're like an essential worker or picking up food picking up food everything's carry out or delivery but we just picked up some food from Cabanas and we're gonna go back to the hotel and have some lunch fajitas yeah, we got fajitas. Our dinner tonight. I think it's a Puerto Rican chain. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think there's like four of them in Puerto Rico. I don't think they're in the mainland. Oh. We ordered some burgers to go because it's right by the hotel. And at this point, what else in there? Yeah. It reminds me of Five Guys. It's our last morning here. Our flight is at, I think, 11. 50 and we need to be at the airport by 10 ish and we're gonna go out for coffee at the same location that we started our trip we really like barista squared so it's kind of full circle we're gonna go back there have some breakfast have some coffee relax walk by the beach and then we're gonna come back at the hotel pack up and then head to the airport <laughs> De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami